Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a scrubby. This is the front and this is what it looks like on the back. Now for the scrubby I used four ply crochet cotton which is quite strong. I wouldn't use synthetic because it would wear out too quick. I used blue for the main colour, yellow for the contrast, white for the outer eye and black for the stripes and the inner eye. I've got my sewing thread and needle to stitch the eye and fin and the stripes on. I've got a 1.25mm crochet hook, a darning needle to weave in my ends, scissors and I've got some 2 inch or 5 centimetre scouring pads. I'd either need 2 or 3 to fill the fish up. Now I'm going to start on the body so I make a magic loop and work 2 chain into the circle I work 2 half double crochet Three treble six half double crochet. Three treble, and three half double crochet. I pull the circle tight and join with a slip stitch in the top of the second chain. For row 2 I start with 2 chain and work one half double crochet into the next stitch and then 2 half double crochet into the following stitch. Next I work two treble into each of the next three stitches. Then two half double crochet into the next stitch. And then one half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. Two half double crochet into the next stitch and then two treble into each of the following three stitches.
then two half double crochet into the next stitch and one half double crochet into the remaining stitches and slip stitch in the second chain for row three we start with three chain and work one double crochet into each of the next four stitches then two double crochet into each of the following five stitches One double crochet into each of the next eight stitches. Two double crochet into each of the next five stitches. and then one double crochet into each stitch to the end. And slip stitch in the third chain. For row 4 we start with 3 chain and work 1 double crochet into the same place as a chain and then work 1 double crochet into each of the next 2 stitches. Two double crochet into the next stitch Now we work one double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochet into the following stitch six times. So that was one double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochet into the following stitch six times.
Now we work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and then two double crochet into the following stitch two times. That was one double crochet into each of the next two stitches, then two double crochet into the following stitch two times. Now we work one double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochet into the following st stitch six times. So that was one double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochet into the following stitch six times. Now we work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches two double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into any remaining stitches and slip stitch in the third chain. For row 5 we work 3 chain and work 1 double crochet in the same place as the chain and then work 1 double crochet into each of the next 2 stitches and 2 double crochet into the following stitch all the way around. So one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and two double crochet into the following stitch right around the row. So I'll work this row and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the row we slip stitch into the third chain. For row six we start with three chain and work one double crochet into the same place as a chain and then we work one double crochet into each of the next five stitches and two double crochet into the following stitch and we repeat that right round the row. So one double crochet into each of the next five stitches and two double crochet into the following stitch right around the row. So I'll work this row and I'll be back. At the end of the row we join with a slip stitch in the third chain and fasten off. Now for the head part we find our centre stitch so we fold our work in half long ways and find the centre stitch and then we go back 12 stitches 
and join in there. And start with two chain and work two joined half double crochet over the next four stitches. So a joined half double crochet into the next two stitches and a joined half double crochet into the following two stitches. And then we work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. One single crochet into each of the next 12 stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next two stitches and then two joined half double crochet over the next four stitches. So a joined half double crochet into the next two stitches and then a joined half double crochet into the following two stitches. For row 2 we start with 3 chain and turn and we work 2 joined double crochet over the first 4 stitches. So a joined double crochet into the first 2 stitches. A joined double crochet into the following two stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. A single crochet into each of the next eight stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then two joined double crochet over the last four stitches. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn and we work 1 single crochet into each stitch.
and fasten off. For the body back, this section here, we start with a magic loop and work two chain into our circle. We work two half double crochet, three treble. Six half double crochet, three treble. and three half double crochet. We pull our circle tight and slip stitch in the second chain. For row 2 we start with 3 chain and work 1 half double crochet into the next stitch. And then work 1 chain. Into our following stitch we work 1 half double crochet, 1 chain and 1 half double crochet. So 1 half double crochet, 1 chain and one half double crochet. Now we're going to work one chain and then one treble into the next stitch three times. So one chain and one treble into the next stitch three times. and then work one chain and into the next stitch we work one half double crochet, one chain and one half double crochet. So one half double crochet, one chain and one half double crochet. Now we work one chain and one half double crochet into the next stitch four times. So one chain and one half double crochet into the next stitch four times. Then work one chain and into our following stitch we work one half double crochet one chain and one half double crochet. Now we work one chain and one treble into the next stitch three times. So one chain and one treble into the next stitch three times. Then work one chain and into our next stitch we work one half double crochet, one chain and one half double crochet. And then work one chain 
and one half double crochet into each remaining stitch. Then work one chain and slip stitch into the second chain For row 3 we slip stitch into our first one chain loop and we work 5 chain and then we work 1 double crochet and 2 chain and we repeat that all the way around so 1 double crochet into our next loop and then two chain and repeat that all the way around. So one double crochet into the loop and two chain. So I'll work around this row and I'll meet you at the end of the row. At the end of the row we work one double crochet into our last loop and to join we work one chain and work one half double crochet into our third chain and that's row 3 finished. For row 4 we're going to work an extra loop at each end of our section so we start with 6 chain Now we work one double crochet into the next loop and three chain five times. So one double crochet into our next loop and three chain five times. Next we work one double crochet into the top of the next double crochet. So just in there now we work three chain and one double crochet into the next loop eleven times. Three chain a double crochet into the next loop 11 times. Now we work 3 chain and work 1 double crochet into the top of the next double crochet. Now we work 3 chain and work 
one double crochet into each loop until we get to our last loop. Then we work a double crochet into our last loop and work one chain and work a half double crochet into our third chain to join. And that's row four done. For row five we start with seven chain. We work one double crochet into the next loop and four chain and we repeat that right the way around so a double crochet into the next loop and four chain so I'll work this row and I'll meet you at the end at the end of the row we slip stitch into the third chain and fasten off Now for the head, we're going to make it to correspond with the head of, of the front. So I measure up the back and I'll start join for the head in that stitch there. So I start with two chain and I work two joined half double crochet over the next four stitches. So into each of the chain in this loop. So a joined half double crochet into the first two chain and then a joined half double crochet into the next two chain. Into my next loop I'm going to work two half double crochet and two single crochet. Into the next loop I'm going to work four single crochet And into the next loop, I'll work another four single crochet. Into the following loop, I'll work two single crochet and two half double crochet. And then into the next loop, I'll work A joined half double crochet over the first two stitches and a joined half double crochet over the next two stitches. For row two, I start with three chain and turn and I'm going to work two joined double crochet over the next four stitches. So a joined double crochet over the first two stitches and a joined double crochet over the following two stitches. Then one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Now I work one single crochet into each of the next eight stitches.
Now one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And two joined half double crochet over the last four stitches. For row 3 I start with one chain and turn and I work one single crochet into each stitch. and fasten off. Now that's the back of the body and head done. Now for the first stripe we start with 28 chain We miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Then one half double crochet into each of the following two stitches. And then one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Then one treble into each of the following four stitches. Then one double crochet into each of the next five stitches. One treble into each of the following six stitches.
and double crochet into each of the next four stitches. and one treble into any remaining stitches. and fasten off. For the second stripe we start with 26 chain and work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Then we work one half double crochet in the next stitch. One double crochet in the following stitch. And one treble into each of the next five stitches. Then one double crochet into each of the following three stitches. Now a treble into each of the next four stitches. One double crochet into each of the following three stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next five stitches. and one double crochet into each stitch to the end. Now 
and fasten off. For the inner eye, we start with a magic loop and work one chain and work three single crochet into our circle. We pull the circle tight and join with a slip stitch in the chain. and fasten off. We've got a tiny circle. For the body fin, using my yellow, I start with six chain I miss the first three chain and work one double crochet into each of the remaining Three chain. For row two, I start with three chain and turn, and I work one double crochet into each stitch, and also one double crochet in the top of the chain from the previous row. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn and work two single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and work two single crochet into the last stitch. And now we'll do a neatening row. We don't fasten off. So we start with one chain and we work one single crochet in each stitch down the side, across the bottom and up the other side. And then slip stitch in the chain from the top of that stitch and fasten off. And that's the body fin. For the outer eye, using my white, I make a magic loop and work two chain and ten half double crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the second chain. And pass them off.
Now, I'll weave in my ends because we're going to stitch these parts to the body before we join it and then we'll crochet on the tail and the fins. Now I've got all my pieces. I'm going to make my fish face the other way this time. Now the first thing I'll do is put the small white dot on the inner eye and then I'll attach the inner eye to the outer eye. Next I attach the eye. It goes just in about there, just slightly above halfway. You don't want to get it too high. And I'll attach the markings. They curl in around like that. But I don't stitch them over the last row to make it easier to attach the back. So I'll attach the eye and the markings and I'll be back. And the next thing we do is attach the fin, just in there. So I'll do that and I'll be back. Now I've attached all the pieces to the front. Now I'm going to attach the front to the back. So with the wrong sides facing, I'll pin them together. My fingers aren't working very well today, a bit clumsy. And I'll attach my cotton right in the corner here. Through both the thicknesses and I'll start with one chain and work a single crochet into each stitch around working through both thicknesses. So I'll work into the chain loop a lot of the time. So I'm just making sure I'm catching the back piece as well as the front and it's attached like that. So I'll continue working a single crochet in each stitch around and I finish when I get to this corner here. So I'll do that and I'll be back. Now I've worked my row of single crochet around the both body sections to join them together. Now I'm going to work a row across the mouth to thread my cord in. So I start with three chain and work one half double crochet in the next stitch only through the one section, the front section and then one chain and a half double crochet into the next stitch and I'll repeat that across
once we get to the side, we work a half double crochet and then a chain in the last stitch and then a half double crochet into the first stitch on the back and then continue across with one chain and a half double crochet. So I'll continue across and I'll be back in a minute. And when we get back to the beginning we work one chain and slip stitch into the second chain at the beginning of the row and fasten off. And there's the mouth part done. For the cord we work a length of chain about 12 inches or 30 centimetres. So I'll work my chain and I'll be back. Now that looks like enough chain so I'll fasten that off. Now for the tail, with my front side facing, I find the centre stitch, so I'll bend it long ways, and then I go back four and join my blue cotton into that stitch. And I start with three chain and work a join double crochet over the next two stitches one double crochet into the following stitch and a double crochet cluster over the next three stitches and fasten off. Now I'll just weave in my ends because it will make it easier to do this next black section. Now for this black section of the tail on our right side we join our cotton to the top of the chain and work three chain We work two double crochet into the first stitch two treble into the next stitch and two double crochet into the last stitch. And fasten off. Now I'll just weave in my ends because they'll get in the way while I'm doing the next section. For the next section of the tail, the yellow section, I join my cotton to the top of the three chain on the right side and I work 
thread chain then work two double crochet into the same place as a chain then one double crochet into each stitch and two double crochet into the top of the chain For row two we start with three chain and turn we work two double crochet into the same place as a chain one double crochet into each stitch and two double crochet into the top of the chain and fasten off and I'll just weave in my ends so they don't get in the way while I'm crocheting the final part of the tail for the final part of the tail, we join our cotton on the wrong side in the first stitch. And work three chain. Then we work two double crochet into the same stitch as the chain. and two double crochet into the next stitch now work one double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and then work two double crochet into each of the last two stitches for row two we work 18 chain
We miss the first two chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next four stitches. Then we work two single crochet into the following stitch. One single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Two half double crochet into the next stitch. One half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Now one double crochet into each stitch until we have two chain left. Now we work a double crochet cluster over the last two chain and the first two stitches on our row. Now one double one half double crochet sorry into the next stitch. One double crochet into each of the next two stitches. One treble into each of the next two stitches. Two treble into the following stitch. One treble into the next stitch. One double crochet into each of the next two stitches. One half double crochet into the next stitch. Now work 15 chain. Now we miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. Now a joined half double crochet over the following two stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. One double crochet into each of the next four stitches.
one treble into each of the remaining chain and a treble into the last stitch on our row just in there and then slip stitch into the end the top here of our last stitch and fasten off Now for this bottom fin, I turn it over, turn it round and I start 17 stitches back from the tail. In this stitch here, it's about halfway along the bottom. I join my yellow cotton and I work one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. Then one half double crochet into each of the following three stitches. One double crochet into each of the next three stitches then one treble into each of the following three stitches Two treble into the next stitch, and then a three treble cluster in the following stitch. and fasten off. For the top fin, we join our cotton three stitches from the tail and work four chain and work a join treble into that same stitch as our join then work two treble into the next stitch One treble into each of the following three stitches. One double crochet into each of the next three stitches. one half double crochet into each of the following three stitches
a single crochet into the next three stitches. Slip stitch into the next stitch and fasten off. And there's the fish done. I'll just weave in the ends and then I'll be back and we'll thread the cord around the mouth and insert the, the scrubbies into the, the fish. The last thing we do is thread our cord through our little loops for the cord. Now I normally start from one side, either the bottom or the top, to tie it off there. So you just bring the cord in and out through the loops all the way around. So I'll continue around doing this because I'll be quite slow. My fingers aren't good, so I'm quite clumsy at the moment. And I'll meet you when I've got all the way around. Now the cord's inserted. I'll have to tie it off. I'll probably get someone else to do that because my hands aren't going to be able to manage that at the moment. Um, the last thing I do is insert some scouring pads into the fish. I think two will be enough for this one and then you just pull it tight and you can replace the scouring pads So that's the fish done. If you like my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details on my website. And I've also started a Facebook group called Kerry's Crochet Corner. We'll put the details of that group down too. Thank you for joining me. See you next time. Bye.